detectives are actually in there uh, you know scene of crime detectives they're trying to secure the scene and also of course collect evidence uh, of exactly what transpired but some we've been able to uh, speak to the guard who was actually uh, guarding this uh, this particular uh, residence uh, after he's come from uh, recording a statement with the police some what he says happened here is that uh, a group of uh, men he says about three men actually came and actually knocked at this gate and when he went to find out who the, who the people were, uh, they actually get, got a hold of him, and he says that uh, they pointed at an object at uh, towards him, and they forced uh, their way into the compound. And once they got in, they wanted to know whether this particular guard knew the speaker, and they wanted to know whether this is the speaker's residence. Uh, but the guard tells us that uh, he convinced uh, the the the, uh, the men that uh, this was actually a bishop's house, and uh, this is not the official speaker residents uh, from there uh, they wanted to know if he had uh, keys to access the home and also the vehicles that uh, were positioned outside uh, that particular compound or this particular compound uh, and some what happened after that is that uh, they, 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 after they realized that they did not have access to the home and uh, they did not also have access to the vehicles they went ahead and uh, vandalized the vehicles uh, they are in here some and we're going to be getting those pictures once uh, we're cleared to get in uh, like I said, some uh, what is happening inside here is that there are detectives in there who are actually conducting their business, that is collecting evidence and ensuring that they exactly come or understand what exactly transpired here. Back to you, Sam. But of course, we will be uh, keeping you up to date with what is happening uh, in your county. I'm Martin Munene. Right, Monene, have you been able to speak to the speaker? I understand that he is expected to be appearing on our sister station in Oro TV, but have you been able to talk to him and uh, get his reaction to this, bearing in mind that, as you said, the home was attacked when him and his family were away? Uh, Sam, uh, we've not been able to uh, have communication with the speaker. The only person that I've had, uh, you know, the chance to speak to is his personal assistant, uh, who is actually the one who uh, told us that the speaker is currently not available. Uh, the vehicle that you're seeing actually leave right now, uh, it's the detective's vehicle. That is the vehicle the detectives were using uh, to be able to secure uh, this particular scene. So, Sam, as I can tell you right now, is that we've not been able to speak to the speaker personally but we've been able to have a conversation with his uh, communication team and his personal assistant who've actually helped us understand that uh, the speaker is not in uh, because he and his family uh, were not in this particular home because he was, he, he was having an interview like you said with our sister station in Oro TV and therefore he was actually in another home uh, outside this particular county some